And welcome back everybody to Pokemon Trading Card Game. It's always fun over here when we get to sit down and talk about a card game. Because let me tell you what, there is so much substance to this. I mean, we could just go on for days about how awesome this is. And as always, joined by my good friend Frostbites. And uh, what, what, what do you got to edit on this? Anything? Uh, edit, edit nothing. Well, edit. what can, what can be edited on I mean, this? Add on to that. Oh, okay. Well, then you should have said add on. I mean, there's a difference. Um, I don't know. Literally, we could have probably just went back to part two or any other video. We didn't say what part it was and just uploaded there, and no one would know the fucking difference. Because <laughs> that's literally all this is is just the same shit over and over again. Except the you know, cards do change, and I think I no, w w I didn't really get to look in my hand, but. I'm in the grass gym, of course you already know that if you watched the last part, and I don't know why in the world this grass lady has... A diglet. Yeah, like, what? Yeah. Oh, I plus... <laughs> this is awesome! And Boy, one hit KO. This has been... Get out of the gym. This has already been better to watch than most other ones just because of that alone. <laughs> well, yeah, because I think this is not quite where I hit the stride where I went crazy, but it's pretty close. It's getting there because, you know, this is the last grass person before we go against the gym leader, oh! which you curb stomp the shit out of. Speaking of curb stomping... Yeah, Arcanine yeah, is you a just, grass you just, you just had over. to do 100... Oh, because oh, it was yeah. the last one. That's that's, that's why to. you did that. I was like, eh, a bit of overkill for someone that only has 10 HP left. See what we get. Nine tails? Which is funny, because I only say that now because I can guarantee you folks right now that I never use nine tails. Use nine tails. In fact, when it comes to fire, I think you only use Arcanine, really, as an Arcanine evolved. Arcanine and uh, I don't th Charmeleon. Have you ever two. recorded your... Because I remember you getting a Charizard when we weren't... In oh, yeah, booster. you have to go here to find the chick lady after you beat him. And but... they tell you that, so you know. Oh, they do? Okay. Yeah, I, wasn't pay I, was like, I wasn't paying attention, you know, if they did or not. I was just like, oh, by the way, here it is. And where here you we do go, whatever. folks. I'm really, I think this is the... First time I beat it on my first shot and just beat the Well, I think hell after that, you never had any trouble with any gym leader. Well, maybe this is where you actually use Charizard. Because, like I said, I remember seeing Charizard when you were, like, grinding for um, booster packs and whatnot. I don't remember ever I seeing Charizard. I hate this fight because she is the notorious. If you ever go against a grass person, do something differently than I do. Stock your deck. Full of um, what would be the term? Full heals because you'll spend the majority of the fight being asleep, paralyzed, or you know. No, poisoned. you'll you'll you'll, s you'll spend the whole entire thing being paralyzed, poisoned, asleep, confused, jacked Go off, off the you whole name nine it. yards. You name it, and it'll happen to you because this chick just oh, I can't stand it. You know what? Now that I'm actually what oh. That was way smarter than I gave myself credit for. <laughs> I didn't even know I had Switch in my hand. But this fight is just... See, she doesn't power up the Oddish. And as you can already tell, I'm going to blow that Oddish's Onion Ring completely out. Like, look at that. That's Onion Ring getting obliterated. Oh, man, that's... Oh, um, there's Charmeleon. Oh, okay, so I, I guess you did. And I just don't remember it. Oh, Executor. Dude, explosion. The most horseshit move in the game. Explain why. Okay, you can attach energy to him. And if you have Venusaur or Blastoise, if you mix Venusaur with Blastoise, you could keep slapping energies on the... Uh, uh, Executor. Executor, my bad. Not Venusaur, but... And what ends up happening is for every energy card attached to him, he gets to flip, flip a, a coin. coin. And with Blastoise, you're allowed to put as many energies in one turn down as you want. It's actually one of the strategies I think they talk about in the guy's house, Ishihara's house. Oh, really? And there goes Executor's Onion Ring, but <laughs> unfortunately it's not worth it. Okay, two. I've been mean asses for a while now, because like, I just went with it. Where the fuck did you get Onion Ring from? Getting your Onion Ring blown yeah. out? Yeah. Well, <laughs> like, I've been hearing you say it for the past couple days, yet I've yet to go out of my way to ask 
what that means and where you got it from. It all starts when you're watching football and mm. you see a guy, it's like a running back, he breaks out, he's wide open, there ain't nothing in the world he's doing, and some guy hits him so hard that if it was real, like if you were in that guy's shoes, you would probably shit your innards out, and that's called blowing your onion ring out. And I got that turn <laughs> through <laughs> my friend who works on the oil rigs, and they say that all the time. Do really? not blow your onion ring out. Yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> and sweep the boss. Well, no because you were using it a lot with football, and like I said, I just kept going with the like, man, that just, because it just sounded funny. Yeah. I had no idea what it meant. It sounded funny, and you know, when you know this kid as long as I have... When it comes to him and making jokes, it doesn't have to make sense. The way he says it <laughs> makes it funny. And I about died every time that he said that. I didn't even have to know what it fully meant. I just had to know that he's saying it and it's funny as shit. Dude, most broken card. We just got it. The Nine Tails with the, I think it's uh, Tail of Embers. It literally lets you flip eight coins. And for every heads you flip, it does ten. It doesn't sound like a lot until you go against a grass person. You could dominate them. And I traded away the card to give Vile Plume no big deal. No up top! And I don't even use that either. No, you didn't, which is very disappointing because I can't very make make very <laughs> eh, do that many nup tup jokes. Dude, I don't use a lot of the popular cards, because once you get a deck con set down, you don't stray away from it. Okay, in this area, it's pretty simply put. Use Psychic, because everything they use in this gym is weak to Psychic. Even the main guy's main cards are weak against Psychic, even though they are Psychic, which is the Mewtwo's. Which but we come later. back to this later, right? I'm trying to think of what we do first. Yeah, no, because you did... I uh, said so you did something else. Yeah, you went to yeah you went to the lightning one first. Yeah, because when actually when I first fired it up, I forgot like what I was even what would be good in that gym, and I I have the guidebook in my house. So when we, I went yeah. home after this part, I did some research. That's how I knew what I was doing later in the game because I found out that that gym runs nothing but grass types and psychic types, which are all weak to psychic. And as long as you're a heavy hitter, hitter than the other psychic types, you'll blow them out of the water. But we'll get to that part later. And this it's, this is another stupidly easy gym. There's only one card you have to watch out for, and that's the Flying Pikachu, which you'll see us do battle with that on a few occasions. Other than that, make a whole deck out of nothing but ground types. You'll always have a resistance to everything they're using. And you'll even get to watch people blow up for literally no reason, oh, which you'll get to see man. later. I remember that. I have, I about died every time that I saw them. Anyone, and you're like, you're looking at me like, all right, dude, he's gonna use explosion right now. It's like, dude, really? And sure enough, there it went, and it did like ten damage. It won't even do. Yeah, it's funny because in this game, the computer can either be really intelligent or really stupid, and the thing is is sometimes the computer doesn't take in the fact that you have a resistance to it. So if it says it's going to do 40 damage, it believes in its heart and soul that it's going to do 40 damage. And this was another one where you have to face this the other guys. This is self-destruct deck. I wonder this, if this is, is where it. guy blows up. This might be it where I just lose it when he just blows himself up for no reason. Okay, the only thing that sucks about using Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan is not Diglett or Sandshrew. He does not get the resistance to Thunder. However, he packs one gnarly punch against electric types because his first attack already does 20 damage if they're electric and they're weak to you it's already 40 for one energy and if you get special punch which i'm about to here in a second it does 80 damage to every single electric type you hit with it it's ridiculous fighting decks are some of the best in the game hands down and you we actually i think i think i end up winning like flat out with a fighting deck later in the game when I got t no that was a fire deck no, that I was got a wait I kept getting stomped out by the fighting gyms oh uh, well yeah no well we first said end of the game I'm like no you didn't I remember exactly what you used for the end of the game it was at the fighting gym because you tried to keep using psychic but you could not get the draws you wanted yeah, and the cards are not you. Good. You did it. I don't even know. I, I, I lost track of the number of times you did it and kept getting so pissed to the point where you just said, fuck it, and you created a fire deck. First one, you beat all of them. 
very first one. See, look at that, 80 damage. This deck is effectively beaten before we even oh, start. Oh, there we go. I'm waiting for it, man. I think this... Dude, he's done. That Magnemite... Ah, oh, was that? I guess not. I guess it was a different one oh, where they dude, kept... I use Earthquake for literally no reason, so I can do 140 and just to show it off. <laughs> yeah, because you'll see a lot of Duck Trio later, but you know what, guys? That's the clean sweep of the day. Code Black is on a roll. The series is going to pick up momentum, and I guarantee you guys won't be seeing anything that's going to be happening later. So, for now, we're going to check out some cards real quick. And, uh... We'll fade away. Alright, fuck scary. this. Let's go play Persona. Yeah, fuck this.